Hello guys, welcome to YouTube channel for Mania. So in today's video, we are gonna compare the Galaxy Note 10 Plus versus the Vivo's latest X70 Pro Plus. So you guys might be thinking, is this guy going crazy comparing a 2019 flagship with the latest 2021 flagship? Guys, the main reason I'm doing this comparison is to show that how the Note 10 Plus still stack against the flagship devices from 2021 so guys let's get started starting from the design i would start from the galaxy note 10 plus so guys this is the samsung galaxy note 10 plus and the color is aura glow color and apart from this aura glow color we have a aura black and aura white color in india this is the indian variant okay and uh, I would say the in-hand feel actually I would say after the Galaxy Note 10 Plus from the premium segment the in-hand feel the slim everything is gone from the Galaxy S20 Ultra because it feels really bulky with the camera blue line but this guy feels insanely good at in-hand you could see really nice in-hand feel of this guy and I would say the thickness is just 7.9 mm thickness and if you compare the latest X70 Pro Plus it is having 8.9 mm you could see the difference between both this is really slim guys the in-hand feel is really good so 8.9 on the x30 pro plus versus 7.9 on the galaxy note plus and wait guys so the galaxy note plus is very optimized that means the uh what we call the weight balance is very well optimized on this guy and this is also nice but because of this heavy camera body this is a slightly friendly top load i would say slightly top load that means a chance of phone, phone like uh, uh weight is more distributed on the front but still an evenly uh nicely done with the weight distribution okay and um, on the weight, the Vivo X30 Pro Plus weighed 213 grams, where this guy is just weighed 196 grams. So I would say in the design aspect, I would really give a win for the Galaxy Note 10 Plus because of the first thing, the thickness. It's really thin, you would see, really thin. And the next thing is the weight. Actually, very evenly distributed as well as uh, the weight is also less. That means just 196 versus 213. Okay. And uh, if you compare with the back sides of both, this is having a, what we call it, sort of a lead note. Uh, this is actually a glass made up of something, a fluorite AG method. And that this feels really, really soft. Actually, if you could see, yeah, I, will, I can feel the leather touch, uh, something like that. With the, uh, actually, it's a really comfort, really comfort to hold. Still, it's have the thickness, but still really, very comfort and soft to touch on this guy. Okay, you would see and then so the in hand feel is also nice on this guy but i would say because of the weight less weight and the thickness is so much less i would give a win for the galaxy note 10 plus also one more thing is there guys so the galaxy note 10 plus comes with the cg6 that means the coning gorilla glass 6 on the front as well as on the back but this guy uh is just got the score sensation that means uh, score sensation is uh, also a type of protection which is used but it's not up to the golden gold lagna so there is also a slight win for this guy that means uh, galaxy note 10 plus 2 okay so along with that these both handsets have the ip68 dust and water resistance and first time in the x70 pro plus because x60 pro plus doesn't have the ip68 rating and the next thing that's this guy over here the s pen this is what it makes the Note and Note, which can't compare with any of Android devices in the market. It's really good, guys. Just you could see Note 10 Plus versus X70 Pro Plus. So, guys, that's really nice because it's also on the S Pen gimmick features like uh, swiping, uh, swipe. That means gesture uh, activation also is done. That means we could use uh, this as a type of what we call remote to control the pictures, music, gallery. Many many functions are this for the. So, if you are a sort of high end user which might use this S Pen, then the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is the only option which you have available. Okay, if you come up with this one both. So the next thing is regarding the display. Okay, so I would show a random video for the uh, demonstration. So guys, the display on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus on the top and the Vivo X70 Pro Plus on the bottom. And at a glance, they're really nice guys. That means excellent color saturation, excellent vibrancy, excellent detailing. The colors are really, really sharp and stunning. You could see 
and you could didn't tell the difference between both and I am, I am observing really close to find out some difference between both okay so you could see wow stunning displays guys and uh, let me tell you the display configurations first so the galaxy note plus comes with 6.8 inch with 1414 to 3040 pixels and 498 ppi and if you compare with vivo x70 pro plus it's also same 1414 to 3200 with 417 ppi so a bit more ppi on this guy for the first time the vivo is having a quad hd display you want the x60 pro plus they are just having a full hd plus display okay so let me observe the red deep so if you compare guys the red is a bit more deeper actually you could see the green is a bit more deeper actually i would say the color is a bit more sharper and deeper on the x70 pro plus but that's purely personal preference guys because the galaxy Note plus is more focused on the naturality of the colors actually how would we could see like with our naked eyes and all but vivo x20 pro plus done something with uh, i think with the ai and all so it the feels the color feels a bit more vibrant on this guy where the galaxy Note plus uh, feels uh, very natural colors over there i could feel something like that with my personal opinion okay you could see the uh, difference in the green on both okay and uh, one more thing is there guys actually i have set it up in a different way i will show the displays on both that means the display settings to maximize the effect actually i had put on the quad hd resolution on both so on the display you could see i have set the quad hd plus display on the galaxy Note plus as well as uh, the screen mode is vivid so on the vivo x70 pro plus let me show you i have set the screen mode to bright so you would see uh, so the resolution is same on the quad hd and uh, the screen colors it was on standard but i set it to bright so if the screen colors was on default that means on standard the galaxy Note plus and vivo x70 pro plus are almost neck in neck i couldn't tell any difference between both but when I, mean, I switch to the bright the colors are a bit more sharper i would say a bit more artificial colors are a bit more added if you put in the bright but in standard both are neck in neck but so in terms of the uh, resolution as in all both are given time but the next thing is here guys because the refresh rate the galaxy Note plus have just 60 hertz of refresh rate versus 120 on this guy that means x Pro Plus is one that means obviously for a 2020 flagship that's uh with the if you compare the 2019 that's fine but there's a slight win for the x Pro Plus because of the 120 hertz and the next thing is if you ask me does this guy feels outdated or just feels like 60 years then no guys actually the really nice optimization you could see it feels almost like something like a 90 hertz or something like that it feels feels really really smooth guys see sorry wow so guys uh it doesn't feel like 60 but uh, I would say it feels like almost near to 90 because of the really nice optimization from the One UI and all. But on paper, the X70 Pro Plus is ahead because of the 120 Hz refresh. That's an LTPO refresh. That means it's a variable refresh rate which can switch from all the up to 10 Hz uh, directly to the 120. So you could see uh, that's uh, the screen refresh rates. You could see 60, 120, and smart switch. It will dynamically switch between which application you whether it needs 60 Hz, whether it need 120 or just 10. Okay, so that's all uh, regarding the display. Now, next look at the performance oriented thing. That's the processor. So, the Galaxy Note Plus comes with Exynos 9825, which is a 7 nanometer. In India, this is a 5G handset. And on this guy, this is on the top end specs, guys, because the Snapdragon Triple H over here with 5 nanometer, and that's a 5G. And uh, the maximum clock speed is 3 gigahertz over here. So, for gaming, that's no doubt the Exynos Pro Plus would be great okay for normal as well as a moderate gaming heavy gaming is also possible actually i am playing call of duty pubg on this guy it uh, runs really perfect okay but if you compare the maximum resolution that means the game maximum settings then the vivo x20 pro plus is much ahead so in the gaming that's a clear win for uh, the x70 pro plus now the next interesting thing is the speakers so let's check the speakers by playing some music so guys next is regarding the speaker so we are gonna play a music first on the uh, vivo x Sony pro plus
Okay, next on the Galaxy Note and Plus. Oh, wow. Next one more music. So guys that was clearly loud and crucial on the Galaxy Note Plus. Ooh. Will the Galaxy X70 Pro Plus come back? Okay, okay, okay. Back to the Galaxy Note Plus. Okay, okay. No doubt guys. Clear in the... Ooh. So guys, that's a clear winner is the Galaxy Note Plus. Wow, the two-year-old flagship even beat the 2021 flagships. Wow, that's a proud moment for the Samsung users. Okay, so, but the Galaxy, I would say the X70 Pro Plus is still great. But if I compare with these both, uh, the loudness, the crystal voice is a bit more loud as well. Actually, one more reason is that actually I turned on a Dolby Atmos too. That's why one more reason of, of the Galaxy Note Plus. And now let's uh, look at the cameras. Okay. So the Galaxy Note Plus have a slight camera, that means no camera hum, but this guy has great camera bump. So let's talk about the first camera, that means the 12MB main camera which is capable of dual aperture, that means f1.5 to f2.4 on the with the, with the help of dual pixel PDF and OIS. And on this guy is getting a 50MB f1.6 with the laser autofocus and OIS. So that's a slight win for the um, X20 Pro Plus, but in terms of the pictures i would say there is not much uh, difference between but one more thing is there guys the camera department the vivo x20 plus pro plus had done a great job because these four cameras has OIS and one of the camera that means the 48 mb the next camera how gimbal OIS. the stabilization is really nice guys and i would uh, really worth mentioning feature is over here and i would show you really quick so actually you could see my Galaxy Note Plus is right over here and if you took the video and over here you can see a feature called the horizontal line you could see horizontal line so if I turned on this feature and then I just switch okay I just turned on and I am just rotating my phone like this you could see I'm just rotating where is the phone yeah see I just rotated my phone but you could see the actual output the phone is I'm not even rotating my phone like See, still the phone is rotating, but the image is actually because of uh, just shake. That means uh, the output was gone. But actually, the phone, that means which object you are recording, the phone, that would be in perfect focus and steady. But you can rotate the phone in 360. That's the horizontal line feature. And apart from that, you could also get some features like ultra stable and all. That's really nice. And the portrait mode, you could get the says some uh, op related to styles. You could see some four styles are given by says itself. And uh, Really nice guys, actually it's a really worth appreciating for that Vivo X20 Pro has done a great job in terms of the cameras. And uh, the next, uh, the 16 MB ultra wide versus just 48 MB ultra wide camera. And then the 12 MB telephoto on the Galaxy Note Plus with 2x optical as 10x digital. And on this guy we are getting a 12 MB telephoto with 2x optical. And then we are getting a periscope telephoto on this guy with... 60x digital zoom and a 5x optical zoom that's an 8 mb and on this guy we are at, at third we are getting a set t of that means it's a lidar scanner that wants uh, for detecting the portrait videos and all so that's also really nice and uh, i would say you should compare the cameras i would say the camera features that means the horizontal line features the stable mode everything is a bit more nice on the x20 pro plus uh, as well as the camera output because of the high resolution uh, cameras on this guy but the galaxy auto plus is still nice awesome pics if you compare we are this is missing some uh, detail that means if you compare 48 and 50 this is missing some details but the pics are really nice worth the uh, worth in still in 2021 but i would say uh, there is no high 
like 60x zooming no hype like 48 mb 50 mb cameras uh, no hype like uh, this uh, that means the rotating stabilization and all but apart from that everything is perfectly fine then the next thing is the front cameras so that's also really nice on the vivo x20 pro plus with 32 mb front camera versus just 10 mb the 10 mb selfies are okay with the galaxy Note plus but that's a great leap if you compare the real cameras i would say um the lsc Note plus was still okay this okay with if an evening comparison than x20 pro plus but the re, in the front terms of front camera i would say that's a clear win for the x20 pro plus okay then the next thing both have the wi-fi 6 and the galaxy Note plus have wi-fi 6 as well as bluetooth 5.0 nfc and this guy on wi-fi 6 bluetooth 5.2 nfc ir ir blaster is also on the top you could see ir blaster okay and uh, next is regarding the fingerprint scanner as well as the face recognition so let's check the fingerprint scanners as well as the face recognition and uh, i would say that the galaxy Note plus is a bit ahead because of this is having ultrasonic that means a 3d fingerprint scanner versus 2d so let's check it out so in three two one and go so both the fingerprint doesn't match and hold for a second and was really rapid again in three two one and go okay so both unlocked and uh, once again in three two one and go okay it's it's taking a bit of time sorry okay for one more time in three two one and sorry yeah so guys the 3d fingerprint scanner is uh, really nice on this guy but i would say let me check it once again so in three two one and go See, it needs the orientation which I have placed in 3, 2, 1 and go. Okay, now this time this doesn't work. Okay, actually, this just need a tab. You could see in 3, 2, 1 and go. 3, 2, 1 and go. Yeah, just a tab. Where on this guy, because of the 2D, it takes a bit more time. But actually, uh, both are nice. But in terms of the security, I would prefer the Galaxy Note Plus over the um x20 pro plus and in terms of face recognition i should say the clear winner would be the um x20 pro plus because it's it's algorithm is a bit more great than the galaxy Note plus it takes a bit more time and the uh, um the area also matters that means in which angle we are looking also matter but the x20 pro plus almost takes from all of the angles but not a my great margin but still nice now talking about the cam that means the batteries the Galaxy Note Plus have 4300 mAh battery with 25 watt of fast charging and this guy got 4500 with 55 of watt charging and in the box we are getting a 66 watt charger. I don't know the reason because uh, almost all the flagship, that is, uh, not all the flagship that means IQ Z3 or every phones are getting this uh, same uh, that means high end charger that means uh, you are getting 66. I think Vivo had uh, that means uh, make made 66 watt charger a lot that means it is giving with every smartphones okay okay and then uh, in the wireless charging it has got 55 watt of sorry 50 watt of wireless charging also and 15 watts of reverse wireless charging on this guy we are getting just 15 watts of charging and 4.5 watts of reverse wireless charging and now talking about uh, the final word which one is best obviously it's depend guys so if you are already having a galaxy Note plus and i would say there is a really nice handset on here guys because the main things the key advantage of the galaxy Note plus is its build and design it's excellent build but i would say i need to really appreciate for this excellent build quality as well as the in-hand feel comfort everything is nice and display speakers are still uh, the one of the best in if you compare with the flagships of 2021 also and the various areas which is lag is just 120 hertz refresh missing 120 hertz refresh rate as well as no hype features like uh, the 60 years zooming high end 108 mb 50 mb cameras and all okay and uh, charging is almost nice 25 watt charger even uh, i think around one hour it just got full charge so okay and in terms of x70 pro plus the cameras are really a great uh, displays and speakers i would say win for this guy and the process that means for the gaming segment also this is a bit more okay so cameras along with uh, the gaming and this guy display multimedia entertainment as well as the in-hand field design everything is nice on the galaxy Note plus so guys uh the galaxy Note plus one more thing is the galaxy Note plus is getting the latest uh, one ui 4 version uh soon in december itself so i would be making a video regarding the galaxy Note plus uh, latest update also so guys stay tuned and subscribe signing off it's for mania